loon shots today our theme is read a book and uh, this is the book i read i think the last book that i read in 2020 uh, so let's let's talk about uh, loon shots as part of our read a book theme this is vinod narayan welcome to the 365 video project day no the pen positive 365 days video project i mean you know sometimes when you try to explain what it really is what you need to really think about is just 365 videos and project because you know this is the pen positive channel subscribe like comment and share and let's talk about the book so loon shots where did i hear this book first i I heard about it when uh, the author Safi Bachel had an interview with uh, I don't remember who on NPR. So that's when I heard about the book, and this was in twenty. This was a twenty nineteen book, and that's when I heard it in NPR. It's about how to nurture the crazy ideas that win wars, cure diseases, and transform industries. And uh, the uh, so I did not buy this book i got this from our library so what i do typically when i want to read these books is sometimes i do buy them and uh, sometimes i go to the library and uh, just put a I, I check up if this book is available on the library and then you put a hold on it and probably you won't uh, you won't get it for quite some time so i got this book i think uh sometime in september of last year but i had uh, that's 2020 i I put the hold on this book much much earlier than that. But anyway, so loon shots. It's it's about those loony things, crazy ideas, not the things that uh, uh, people say good. The things that people say, don't you have anything else better to do? This is not going to work, kind of stuff. And uh, he talks about uh, uh, he talks about uh, American Airlines. He talks about uh, cancer the research on cancer cure and angiogenesis and he goes through through various stories across history and technology and medicine and research and science and and tells us what are the different types of loon shots and uh, also see when you when you read a book like this and also the just to give you an idea of how this the session is going to be this read the book video is going to be i'm not going to give you a review of the book i'm just going to introduce the book to you because there's no point in reviewing a book um, i really like the book because uh, there was a lot of stories about loon shots see sometimes we take things for granted we seldom try to understand the stories behind the things that we use on a daily basis we take it for granted and I think I think uh, the one story that really stuck with me as part of this book was probably Judah Folkman's story of where his research on angiogenesis and how he was ridiculed by all his community and his fraternity, and then three decades after he probably presented the idea in 1971, in 2003 or something. That is when uh, they really had enough data to say that 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 research and that thought process would make sense. And uh, what we saw is a drug made by Genentech, which increased Genentech's valuation after 2003, I think, by about 38 billion dollars. There are a lot of loon shots that people go with, and then it's a very very one of the very interesting. Quotes that uh, Safi talks about with uh, that uh, Judah Folkman said is, uh, when you when you find a leader, look behind and count the number of you can you can find a leader by counting the number of arrows on his ass, because that is how many times people would have told the idea is not going to work. It is not going to work. You have to rethink. You're screwing up your career. Don't think that way. And we all have ideas and many times we don't take it forward because we don't want to go for that fight or we are not very strong in our 
in our thought process. We're not, we're not ready to sacrifice uh, to follow a crazy dream. So we got to be crazy at times. But he talks about both, uh, both uh, kind of the loon shots and also the franchisee models that happen within, within, within the organizations and what kind of ideas work on the short term, what kind of ideas work on the long term and what kind of people, what kind of skills do you need to really keep strong on your loon shots. So this is if you want a book to be read for not to be read, to read for 2020, this is one I would suggest, Loon Shots by Safi Bakshal. You can, <coughs> sorry, you can also go to his uh, website and you can, one of the things that I do when I read books is I also check for the author on YouTube, which is something that you never had that kind of a reading, learning experience before. So I would read the book. I would also check on YouTube if there are conversations, interviews with the author, gives us a different perspective of the book from the author. And then I do that typically after I read about 20, 30 pages, I go and try to figure out uh, if, if there is any videos of the author, then watch that and then I come back to the book. And also sometimes when you read the book, there are times when you, when you get slow reading the book, things don't move that fast as you want because you are not in the same mental faculty to understand or comprehend what is being written in the book. So in such cases, this, this shift from reading the book into listening the author talk and then coming back to the book, you can better comprehend, understand, appreciate and be part of the book like unlike before. So that's one of the techniques that I use and uh, you can probably, and it, it helps in our comprehension of what is being said in the book. So take that book, Loon Shots, buy it or get it from your library. Uh, I can't uh, share this because it's a library book and I need to return it. The last time I checked, there are about nine or 10 holds on that. So I don't want to keep it with me. So I'm going to return it uh, probably next two, three days. So anyway, if you want to be part of an active, productive learning community, we're trying to transform content consumers to active and productive learners. So if you want to be part of that community and also part of my personal journey, personal learning journey, then join us at penpositive.com and let's discuss. Be content, be penpositive. Thank you.